I know you love UFOs. Are you pogged up about the recent news? Are you talking about those UFOs that were driving the forklift in Las Vegas? That's the only news. I, I saw that Mathis was going a little crazy over it, but I didn't know what it, like, is it? <laughs> no, the guy who supposedly heard a dude talk about seeing them. I did see the Daily Loud posted a scathing tell-all where a guy said that the, the allied forces recovered a downed UFO from Nazi Germany in World War II? I'd have to say, on the scale from ridiculous to believable, I buy it. I mean, why would he lie? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not my area of expertise. I know how insane this sounds. But I think, like, I'm just kind of tapped out on the news. I, I feel like if there were... If aliens came down and landed on Earth, it would be like crazy news for me. I, like my mind would be blown and I would be like, how, how isn't everybody talking about this? And then the next day I would be like, okay, what's next? Okay, yeah, we got aliens now. All right, that was the biggest story of like, you know, June. Let's move on to something else now. Please. Oh no, I'm running the numbers and I'm not liking what I'm seeing. <laughs> Sip said he wouldn't care. I'm like, it would be amazing. Don't get me wrong. Like on an intellectual, like on a, on a, it would be insane. It would change everything to know that there's other intelligent life in the universe and like we have contact with them. But then like fucking a day later, my ass is going back to work, right? Call me when the aliens give us some technology that makes it so Stoke Cold Brew is in 869 for two liters. You know, if they could if they could get it down to like 669 for two liters, then maybe I'll, you know, take them to my leader or whatever. <laughs>